right, folks, we want to continue talking about uh, the executive branch, but want to look at some of the perks uh, of being president of the United States, right? If you're going to do that job for four or eight years uh, and you're going to age the way those guys have over those four or eight years, there's got to be some cool stuff, right, about being president of the United States. And so that's what we want to focus on. This one's going to be a little different. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to explain a couple of things uh, and then I'm going to send you to the playlist on YouTube. Um, and the reason is, why would I tell you about this stuff uh, when the actual presidents uh, and first ladies who have used these things uh, can tell you about those? And so uh, I've curated some special segments on the White House, the presidential limousine, uh, Marine One, the presidential helicopter, and Air Force One. Uh, and some of those are going to be uh, a little longer. Probably this is going to take us about three days uh, worth of class time uh, to get through these. Uh, so I encourage you, if you're at home, you're doing this virtually, just kind of pace yourself. I, I think you're going to find this stuff really neat um, and, uh, and, and getting to see some of these things. I also encourage you, if you ever get... Um, close uh, to any of these places to visit. Uh, for example, the first place we're going to look at is the White House. Presidential Mansion, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, the most famous address in the country. Uh, and the, every president um, since John Adams uh, has lived in the White House. Uh, the White House was rebuilt after being burned by the British during the War of 1812. Uh, it was gutted uh, during the Truman administration uh, and has been constantly renovated over the years to keep it uh, at the uh, absolute pinnacle uh, of technological advancement. Uh, this is a home, uh, the top two floors are the home uh, to the president and their family uh, as they serve uh, in that capacity. Uh, the bottom floor is usually more formal uh, and, uh, and you're going to see a little bit of that. Uh, you can also tour uh, the White House. Uh, several years ago, I uh, had an opportunity to go out to Washington, D.C., contacted our congressman, a uh, guy named Trey Hollingsworth. Congressman Hollingsworth was great, got us into a lot of things in Washington, D.C. One of the things he got us was tickets uh, to see the White House. I was able to take my family uh, on a tour of the first floor and see some of the, the cool things that I'd seen on TV. If you ever get out to Washington, D.C., uh, I highly recommend it. It's actually free for you. Uh, there's a museum that you go to first and then uh, come across the street. I will tell you to be serious when you see those Secret Service guys uh, because they take security, of course, very seriously, which they should. Um, so what we're going to see um, in uh, the clips that you're going to see on YouTube, I've got a uh, kind of mini documentary movie that Barack and Michelle Obama made uh, at the end of their time in the White House. Uh, and then one from the History Channel uh, that delves a little more into the secrets uh, of the White House uh, and the things that are there. So I think you'll enjoy both of those. I encourage you to uh, check those out. Uh, we've also got the presidential limousine uh, that we talk about a little bit. Uh, presidential limo, uh, when the president's got to travel by car, uh, there are special cars uh, that are made. You can take a look at this and you can tell right off the bat this is not your ordinary vehicle. Uh, you're going to be amazed uh, at some of the specifications, the things that this thing is designed to uh, survive. Uh, so we're going to see a little bit on the current um, presidential limousine, but also on presidential limousines in the past up in Detroit, Michigan, the Henry Ford Museum. Uh, they've got five or six of these. You can actually follow uh, the evolution of the presidential limo uh, as it goes through and uh, I've got a segment from um, a morning show that uh, that takes you through uh, and shows you a little bit about the when limo. The, uh, when the president is traveling short distances uh, he can travel in Marine One. This is Marine One landing uh, obviously at the White House. Uh, Marine One is the helicopter uh, that the president's in. Any helicopter the president is in is Marine One. Uh, just like any plane the president is in is Air Force One. Uh, that's the designation given for uh, what's going to uh, do there. Probably the most famous uh, scene in front of Marine One, President Nixon, when he's saying uh, goodbye to the country, um, give, throws up famous peace signs as he comes up to the top uh, of Marine One uh, at the, uh, the end of the 
Watergate uh, episode. So, uh, like I said, again, uh, another kind of cool documentary just to kind of show you uh, who the pilots are, uh, who is, uh, you know, what capabilities this has, where they use it. Uh, when we were in Washington, D.C., the president actually took off from Marine One. They stopped all traffic uh, along the route uh, that, uh, that he was going to take, President Trump at the time we were out there. And, uh, you know, snipers popping out on, on top of all the buildings and, uh, you know, just obviously taking the president's security uh, very, very seriously uh, as, as they should. So uh, that is Marine One. Like I said, there will be some uh, stuff there. Uh, and then we end up with the piece de resistance the White House in the Sky, Air Force One. Now, any plane the President is on is Air Force One, uh, but the President does have uh, a special plane that he flies on, and wait until you see the inside of this thing. Uh, it is incredible. Uh, it's got the most sophisticated uh, communications uh, equipment on, on board. Uh, it's also got rooms for the President, an office, uh, a uh, meeting room, uh, places for the press and, and other folks to fly places with him. Uh, and believe it or not, there's not one, but there's two of them uh, that, uh, that are there when the president goes uh, places and needs to travel by airplane. So, uh, again, got some uh, some cool videos there on the um, playlist for you uh, dealing with those things. So uh, I'm going to encourage you to check those out. Uh, and like I said, this uh, probably class time is going to take us uh, a couple of days uh, to get through these because some of them are uh, a little longer. Uh, but like I said, it's just, just neat stuff to see uh, and definitely um, what I would call perks of the presidency, uh, getting to, uh, to have kind of this cool technology uh, just waiting on you. So hope you enjoy those documentaries.